Why is chronic disease exploding? Why are our medical systems failing? Why are these diseases growing? I want to talk to you about all of this in today's video. I think it's very important for you to learn about this because this failure might affect you or someone that is close to you. As you see around the world, we see an exponential increase in diabetes, we see an exponential increase in heart disease, and these are affecting younger and younger people as well. I have people come with their kids who have gotten sick and it's heartbreaking. And I want to share with you what I think about it. Uh, I have read a lot of great books on the subject and I think this is the reason that makes the most sense. That being said, whatever you do, be responsible for your own medical decisions. My name is Junior Gupta. I started research in diabetes in 2008, diabetes reversal. Once I learned that it can be reversed, I was like, why did nobody talk to me about this? Uh, because I have a lot of diabetic family members. Along the way, I learned that you can also reverse cardiac disease and that you treat obesity as a hormonal disorder, not about eating too much. And I have taken this knowledge, I have presented at some of the top hospitals in India, at Medanta, at Max, at Fortis, I've presented at conferences, typically to the head of departments, the directors, the chairman, and um, I've helped a lot of people uh, feel and get better. Everything I present to you is research-based. It's reading all the newest and best books out there, seminars, webinars, and cutting-edge uh, science. So what I'm going to tell you is very different than what you'll hear from pharma companies, which is going to be all around managing your medications and managing your symptoms. My talk is around reducing and removing medications and being free of disease. So stay tuned and watch this video. Why might your treatment not be treating your disease? Now what happens today when you get sick? You go to the doctor, the doctor prescribes some pills, maybe an injection, you go home and you start taking these pills. Now where did this come from? Where did all this start? Now modern medicine as we know it, it started with the industrial revolution. This is when we made a lot of advances in discovering bacteria, in discovering viruses, learning about contaminated water, the next big step came when mankind discovered penicillin and we learned about antibiotics. Now you no longer had to die from typhoid. And this has really changed our human, human landscape. Uh, you know, smallpox has been, eradicate, has been eradicated. Polio is almost eradicated. But what happened starting 1940s onwards? A new disease emerged. It wasn't typhoid, it wasn't diarrhea. A totally new disease started emerging, heart disease. We started getting diabetes. Now these diseases, they are chronic diseases. They're not infectious diseases, they are chronic diseases. But what did we do? We started treating diabetes the same way like we treat an infectious disease. We started making a pill for it. Chronic disease is not the same as an infectious disease. You don't drink contaminated water and get high blood pressure. You don't get food poisoning and get plaque in your arteries. And you don't get diabetes from some kind of a mosquito bite. These are not infectious diseases. Chronic diseases, they come from within. It's, it's something from deep within our body that is causing us high blood pressure. Something is there and it's not an infection of the pancreas. It's not a bacterial mold on the pancreas. Something is there that the pancreas are not able to help you manage your glucose and you have diabetes. So the chronic disease is totally different. But why is the doctor giving you pills for that? Because it's not going to go away like a, a fever goes away. It's not like a typhoid fever or dengue fever or some kind of other stomach infection. Your chronic disease is from deep within. So I want you to ask yourself, based on everything you know right now, 
Is this medical system treating your disease or is it treating your symptoms? What is happening as a result of this treatment protocol is once you become a diabetic, you stay a diabetic. Once you become a cardiac patient, you stay a cardiac patient because they're only treating the symptoms. So once you're a diabetic, you join the millions of others who are diabetic. Rarely anybody becomes a non-diabetic, very rarely. And that's why this disease keeps exploding because everybody who becomes diseased stays diseased. We're only treating the symptoms. We're not treating the disease. I came across uh, in one of my readings that fatty liver cannot be treated by modern medicine. So all these hospitals across all the big cities of the world, if you have a fatty liver and you go to a hospital and you say, doctor, I have a fatty liver, uh, they can just watch you get sicker and sicker and sicker, but they cannot treat it. They can basically just watch you die. And I asked the doctor this question. Dr. G, he is the head of department of nephrology at one of Delhi's top four hospitals. Big, massive building. I said, Dr. G, is it correct that you guys cannot treat a fatty liver? He said, yes, Junior. We don't have a pill for that. So the whole medical system is around giving pills. Whereas fatty liver is extremely easy to treat with natural systems, but there's no medicine for it. I want you to ask a question. If you have the courage and you have the friendliness with your doctor to ask this question, please don't offend the doctor. Ask the doctor in their eight to 10 years of medical studying, how many years or how, many, how much did they study disease prevention? What I've heard so far is one day or at most two days. Just think about it, eight to 10 years, one or two days. So it's not the doctor's fault. They're not trained for this. There is a foundational difference between how to treat a chronic disease and how to treat an infectious disease. I hope that I can help you choose a path where you, are, where you know where you are headed. You wanna take pills and medications, by all means, please do it. But understand that you are treating symptoms or whether you are treating the disease. If you like this video, please hit like, please, give, uh, please subscribe. If you liked what I do, please comment. And of course, if you want to know more about me, uh, my details are in the description below.